I am Jason Abraham, the Shadow Teacher 33, and today I'm going to talk about spiritual awakening. There have been talks about great spiritual awakenings on the planet in the recent years, and I've had a few great spiritual awakenings on a personal level throughout my life. Times when there's been a moment of illumination, a moment to where light was shined on an area in my life which was previously shrouded by the darkness of ignorance. A time when something I saw through fuzzy, distorted glasses of the wrong prescription all cleared up and there was clarity in my vision. But I found these moments of spiritual awakening, they're fleeting. They may last a minute. They may last a day. They may last several days. They may last a week or months. But at some point, the patterns, the behaviors, the habits of the familiar state of being that I was clinging to want to show up again. And what I look at the spiritual awakening is <clears throat> it offers a choice. When we're always unconscious of our state of being and moving blindly, habitually, through the world, we have no choice. There is no free will. There are some who believe that free will is an illusion altogether and that humanity are simply reactionary beings <clears throat> just reacting in very familiar, predictable patterns of behavior, thinking in loops of predictable thought. This is what algorithms learn from people. <clears throat> algorithms see patterns. <clears throat> There's a demon in my throat chakra. Didn't want me to say this, but clear it up. As I was saying, algorithms study, they, they recognize patterns, and then they feed those patterns back to people. They give you more of what you tend to to engage with the most from what your digital presence indicates. And those who design these AIs, they don't believe in free will. Once again, they believe that people are very reactionary and pattern-based, and through their dominant patterns, that dictates how they're going to show up in the world. And if someone wants to profit off of you, this is a very easy way to profit. It's a very easy way to control you is to see your reactionary habits and behaviors and give you more of the stimulus that gets a guaranteed reaction from what's been observed. This is Pavlovian conditioning. But when we have these spiritual awakenings, we have these moments of illumination where light shines on the darkness of our unconscious we have a chance to see ourselves in a different way. We have a chance to see our behavior and our thoughts in a different way. And we have an opportunity to start creating new pathways in our mind, new behaviors in our lives, new habits in our lives that are in alignment with the new information that that spiritual awakening has gifted us with. And this is our choice. This is where we can exercise some free will and actually transform into something different than we were before that moment of awakening. And this has been my experience. This is why I believe in free will, and I believe this is human potential in action. This is how we embody our human potential and go on our hero's journey. Eventually, these repetitive thoughts and reactions of an infantile state 
create pain. They create suffering. And it's through going through that hero's journey that starts with a call to adventure. And at some point we have the, the gift, the treasure in the darkness that we can take and we go back and bring that to the world. And this is the human calling, the, the higher calling of the human spirit. This is the embodiment of something new. This is the, the action to the being. So, with a spiritual awakening, the awakening itself, the moment of illumination, is, is not enough to transform the being. We have the moment of illumination, then we have the choice where we're confronted with our old state of being wanting to show up. Then we have the transformation through inspired action, through action that's been inspired by the illumination, by the awakening. And then we have the transformation, the alchemy, and the new state of being that we are. And we go through several of these transformations throughout life. We have the, the choice. We have the opportunity to if we are receptive. But... Again, the choice is also to stay in our old patterns, to stay with what's comfortable, to stay with what's familiar. And I've made that choice times in my life too. And as I know, when I've made that choice, eventually I'm confronted with the same old suffering that comes with the familiar. And I find that life, once again, it's a a wave. We have these peaks and then we'll have some valleys and we'll have some moments that are kind of flat. But the intent, I believe, is to climb from peak to peak. And when we get those moments of awakenings, we have that gift, then we have a choice and we have an opportunity to become something greater, something that we were meant to be something that we were meant to live for. And with that being said, I'm going to end this transmission. Be strong. Be well, my friends. Wake up! And I'll see you on the other side of the dream.